Good morning. It's um, Monday. Back to work, long weekend. We went camping. Oh my God. It actually wasn't too bad. Don't tell the missus that though. Don't tell her. Um, oh, tired though. Tired doing nothing, actually. We went to, where did we go? Went to Arundel Castle. We went to, which is fantastic by the way, if you're ever down in Sussex, West Sussex, whatever it is, where's that? Is it Sussex? It's down that way, mate. It's not, it's not Arundel, because that's where Frozen was. It's Arundel. Arundel? Arundel. Um, fantastic castle. Beautiful. If you go. If you get a chance, go. Take the tour of the dry moat. Because it, it tells you, if you're interested in military history and all that sort of stuff, go and go. I think the guy was Paul, dressed up in all the gear takes you down into the moat and tells you how impossible it was to attack Arundel Castle. Um, when he when he when he talks about it you think, oh boy, you really don't want to be <laughs> you don't want to be in this ditch taking arrows from everywhere. Anyway, um, where else did we go? East Wittering, down the beach, um, had a nice food down there. Um, Pebble Beach there, Pebbles. Um, what was the other one? West Wittering. West Wittering. Beautiful. Beautiful sand. It gets really busy though. You have to pay for your parking in advance. If you can't, if you if you, you turn up, they send you away. If you haven't, if you've already, if you haven't uh, put, um, park, pay for your parking in advance. So went there. Um, we stayed in a place called, camped in a place called Bun Leisure. And, um, huge, huge place. It's that big, it's got its own bus service. And the guy just drives around. He drives around in newer buses than I do. <laughs> He's got a 16 plate uh, Enviro 200 MMC. Uh, you know, the short single door one. You never met a more sour bloke. <laughs> I mean, I have to say, okay, I mean, you don't pay. It's just a, it's a free service, and he, he just drives around in the loop all day. So I can Im I can imagine why he's so sour because it's just like oh, the drain, the drain on the brain. Yeah, but you know we had good weather. It rained through the night, so it was okay. It didn't rain during the day. It actually just started to drizzle yesterday as we were packing up, so it wasn't too bad. But by the time we got home, the sun had come out. We got the tent out again, dried, you know, aired it out, dried it out, and um, packed it all away. So everything's good. All good. All good. You know, the bus in front of me is going to move, so I'm going to have to move down. How rude! Is he going to move, or is he not? No, he started. No, he hasn't started with that. Right, let's have a look at my duty card for this week. I'm in Monday to Saturday this week, I think. So, yeah, I've got. No, Monday to Friday, but Saturday and Sunday off. Yes, that's what we know how to do it on the 314. Right, let's have a look. Okay, so it's a school holiday GT. Um, duty number 3513. I signed on at. 6.22, actually signed on at 6 o'clock, and I've come off at that time, three, quarter past three-ish. So, this is the best bit. Running from, I've done this duty before with you, I'm sure I have, 13. Um, run dead Addington, Addington to Elton where I am now, Elton to Bromley North, and then I have my meal relief for an hour and 10 minutes. Where do I come off? Come off at Bromley North itself. So then I've got a rounder in a bit. Bromley North to Addington, Addington to Elton, Elton to Addington, Addington to Bromley North. And then this bus at sea. This bus will continue to Elton Station Stand, arriving at 
1529. So, so that's me. There's a lot of buses in here today, and I don't understand why. 162, 162. Paul over there. Peter. Peter? Peter or Paul? Gotta pay one of them. <laughs> He's my leader. Leader. Who's that? Gary Glitter. We don't talk about Gary Glitter anymore. So, there's never ever two. 116s in here, so obviously there's a lot of early running going on today. Well, there was today. I got I got here early, and I was on time with my, I was my headway was bang on, but I was still early. So I don't get a chance to talk to you, so it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. It's a bit gloomy today, so I think we had a good week weekend. So. Yeah, the missus picked me up from work on Friday. Uh, no, she didn't. She picked me up on Wednesday. So I yeah, had Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night. <laughs> Came home Sunday morning. Oh, I'm not good on the canvas. I don't sleep. She says I do. She says I snore. But I think that's her. Wakes herself up. <laughs> don't tell her that either. Oh, dear. No. Um... Yeah, I'm not good at all on the canvas. But, you know, we had inflatable beds. You know, it's, it's all right, you know. We, the missus doesn't, she doesn't like roughing it. The only problem is, it's hard work sitting there. It's not hard work, it's just a ball ache. You know, I'd like a slave or two just to set up my, uh, set up my tent. Uh, something like that. <laughs> set up my tent. So the missus, has, she's got a huge tent, it's got two like two bedrooms and a living space, and then we've got this three point six meter by three point six meter event shelter, gazebo type thing, dome shelter that we plonk on the front, and, and we use that to live in, cook in. But the thing's enormous. Enormous, and it's a ball, and it's such a ball like they put up. The tent's not so bad. Tent is not so bad. Three poles and a bit, you know, a couple of pegs, guidelines. But the event shelter is such a ball like it just. I hate it. She won't camp without it now because she, she likes the living space. Um, I don't want to camp ever again, but she's not. <laughs> she's not thinking about where we can go next. <laughs> I'm going. When are we going Saturday? I'm going to Leeds Castle Saturday. That's not cheap, but you know we were going to go to Hever Castle because I've never been. But Hever Castle is like a big house where Leeds Castle is a proper castle. I keep saying castle. I don't know. I think I'm turning into a southerner. It's a castle. So. Yeah, Leeds Castle. Um, there's a lot of go-ahead drivers being rather rowdy today, and I'm, I'm not impressed. Oh yeah, what is it with the three, two, one drivers? I drive past them every day. I, I wave at everybody. Doesn't matter what company you work for. I wave at anybody, and that's that's the god or honest truth. I I even, I even wave at engineering vans. <laughs> you drive through Bromley there's a there's a company called I think it's AJ Wilmer and they drive red vans like we do for the, the engineers um, and I'll wave at them <laughs> the bloke's looking at me as if I'm mad and there's another one I can't remember what it is um, and I'll wait they're both flooring companies when they, you know, they, they sell carpets and tiling and stuff like that and um See, this is like taxis. Lift the bonnet up, and you get three people that absolutely know absolutely fuck all about the engines sticking their nose in the underneath the bonnet. And that's exactly how it was a taxi, you know, driving the taxis. You lift the bonnet up, you get five people. You turn around, and there's five people staring in the hole. Yeah. 
Oh, 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 shopping shopping takes granny shopping and not one of them not one of them to this day ever waves waves back and i don't know what that's about if they could get told off for doing it or i, I don't know is it just like they're dicks <laughs> and then, i mean one of them is a uh, young black girl lovely looking thing she is and she she gives me a nod and that's about all i get out but like you know well, lovely, I think she is. Lovely. Um, anyway, you put the bonnet down, go and piss off. You're blocking up the station. Oh, anyway, what am I going to have for breakfast today? I might have a fry up. I, know, I drank a little bit over the weekend. Cider. I'm a bit of cider over the weekend. I like a bit of cider. Of course, it's chaos with my uh, my insides. Huh? I'm not I'm not the young boy I used to be. Um, what am I doing? What is it? Oh yeah, um, yeah. So we had some nice food. Um, East Wittering. We had a, a little. There's a little. A little um, I can't remember what it's called. Was it the Boulevard? Anyway, down there, um, really nice staff, really nice food. Um, yeah, and uh, you know, I quite, I quite didn't spend a lot of time down there. We went down there after we'd been somewhere else, but it was nice. You know, when when the East uh, West Wittering, West Wittering Beach is just mile after mile after mile of beautiful sandy beach. It's lovely. It is lovely, and you can see Portsmouth in the distance. I wanted to go to Portsmouth. Um, I wanted to go to Portsmouth um, to see um, HMS Victory. Um, oh, he's now eventually moved. Let's move down the hole a bit. Yeah, HMS Victory. I've been before. It's a f if you ever get to Portsmouth, go and see HMS Victory. Uh, it is a sight to behold. They let you wander around it. It's a guided tour, but they let you let you go on it. It's fantastic. Let's just move this bus. I'm sorry this uh, this week's been a bit short. Um, I haven't done many videos. I was um, witness to uh, a bus accident on Tuesday. I was in Sidcup Station where the 160s um, park up. And um, I was taking my little one. My little one's a bit sharp, a bit bright. Um, I like it to keep it that way, so we, we sent it to a tutor in Sidcup. Um, and um, it was an accident with the bus. Um, quite quite a bad one, I would imagine. I, w I wouldn't imagine that the bus was um, salvageable. Um, and. Um, no, thankfully there was only three people on the bus. In, two injuries, um, not severe. As soon as I saw it, I ran. And my missus is going, where are you going? And then I just, I never even thought about it, you know. I just ran, ran to the front door. And there's a guy unconscious in the front door. I couldn't get, couldn't, couldn't get in, so I've gone in through the front door, um, the middle door. And it just makes you think about how vulnerable you are. And I've, I've had a bit of a wobble this week over it, you know. Well, not a wobble, it's, it's I, I just haven't, I've been thinking about it quite a lot. Um, and how non-indestructible I am, if that makes sense. Um, 
<laughs> it's just, what, you, what were you thinking? I said I wasn't. I was just, you know, I just thought there could be people injured on the bus. And there was. You know, uh, and I knew two of them. There was three three people on the bus, and I knew two of them. Um, not very well. I'm not, knowing to to see, I don't I don't know them personally. Um, and it's a bit, you know, it was a, it was a big shock, big shock, because it was a big accident. And um, yeah, knocked me bandy a bit. Not. You know, just not, not, uh, not, not mentally. It just made me think more about, you know, my own, my own mortality. You know, I remember being a kid and not thinking of anything about, you know, just life. Get, you know, it's like when I left the army, I said I'll go and march in, in the remembrance parade up in, you know, Whitehall and all that sort of thing. And, I, and then it was, oh, I'll do it when I'm 40. And then I'll do it when I'm 50. And now all of a sudden I'm 52. 52? 52 next month. And I'm thinking, you know, my life's, my life's rattling past me. Rattling past me. And it's, you know, I ain't got, well, you know, I'm 52, you know. My dad died at 68. So, if you work on that premise, I've got, what, 16 years to push? So, you know, it just make you wonder about what and who you are and in the grand scheme of things. So that's why I haven't been around. Yeah, roundly told off by the missus to running in, or running into a into a she could have, it could have burst into flames or something. It's an electric bus. It's not going to happen. She could have, it's a diesel. Even if it was a diesel bus, it's a diesel doesn't burn. You know, and it doesn't matter. People were people were injured. I had to go on the bus. The ambulance crews, the ambulance crew, uh, the, the fire brigade turned up really quickly. Um, but it took about 30, 40 minutes before an ambulance turned up. A, a paramedic car turned up, but she couldn't get in because of the ambulance, for the, because of the fire brigade. So, you know. But by all accounts, everyone who took a knock in the, in, in the you would have seen, if you know what I'm talking about you know what you, you would have seen the pictures I'm not going to I'm not going to tell say who and where and what and why and put I've got pictures but I'm not going to put them out there and that's for other people to do if, you, if you've seen seen this day at the bus you, you, you will know instantly there's, there's going to be someone injured on that bus and thankfully they're all okay they're okay now you can't you know, you can lay blame at a later date, if you can lay blame at all. Um, that's not for me to do, that's that's for the companies, the investigators, and they'll, they'll check the CCTV and the videos, and no doubt they'll get <laughs> Network Rail and, and uh, other Southwest Railway, wherever it is, they'll, they'll get their videos up and, and, and they'll, they'll view those as well. Um, but yeah, shocked me, it really did. So. That oh, was Tuesday. What day is it today? Friday, Thursday, Friday. I have no idea to be honest. Don't days just turn into one? Weeks turn into one day. But yeah, so I haven't done it. I've done, I've done a little bit of a video at the beginning of the week and uh, I've done nothing since. Um, I'm in Saturday. So I might do a little bit. Um, I'm off Sunday, Monday. I might do a little bit Saturday and tag it on the end of this, but that's it. I'm going to Leeds Castle on Sunday. Never been. I've got went to Arundel Castle, Arundel, Arundel, where I would have was called. And when I was on on my, on my long weekend, and I'm going to Leeds Castle. Yes, Castle. That's how you say it. 
um, on Sunday. So Lee's ca Castle is, I don't know how much we paid. Three of us, I think I paid about 70 quid. But that's a year ticket, you can go as many times as you like. So we'll, we'll have all these functions and stuff on all these, you know, whatever they do. Um, you can go and, and because you've already bought your ticket. So you can go every day for a year if you so f if feel like. But would you? I don't know, you maybe would. Might be somebody who would. Right, I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna drive a bus. I'm in Elton, gonna go back to Addington. Back to Bromley North and then I'm going home. So, I know I say it a bit, but be careful out there. Look after yourselves and look after everyone else. It's a bit scary. I'll speak to you later. Morning. Saturday. The 21st? Yeah. 21st of the 8th, 21. It's one of them. <clears throat> Sorry, I was a bit miserable the other day, but I have a penchant for being miserable. There's the word for the day. Penchant. Means I'm quite good at it. I need a beard trim again, look. It's not that long since I had one. Oh dear, so I'm off today. I'm off I work today, I'm off tomorrow. I'm in Monday. And then I'm on late ish. I don't know, finish about half eleven next week, but I'm off Wednesday. Which is okay. Because I needed Wednesday off. So there you go. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'll be quite happy to finish this week. It's been one of those weeks. Very sad week today, this week. But there you go. We live on, we move on, we crack on, we do whatever we do on. And we start all over again, as the song says. So, I'll show you my duty card. It's more or less the same as the normal week, um, but with a little addition because I start later. So let's have a look at this. Right, so instead of starting at whatever time it was, was it 20 past six or whatever it was, six o'clock, I start sign on at half past eight. I go up to Bromley North to pick up the bus. And this is the extra bit. It's not really extra because I'm still I still drive. I know I would normally drive from the garage to Addington, and then start from there. And, but today, someone else did that instead, and I pick up the bus bus at Bromley North. Been to Addington. I'm now at Eltham. Maybe you can see that Eltham Eltham Station stand. I leave there, go to Bromley North, have a bit of snap, a bit of lunch, and then at my lunch break is 11.57 to 12.57. So I start back on the bus at 12.57, back at Bromley North, and I do the normal Addington, and then Addington to Eltham, Eltham to Addington, and, and then Addington to Bromley North to finish. I finish, I normally finish at quarter to three. Quarter to, is it quarter to three, half past three? No, I finish at 47. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm two hours later-ish, two hours, two and a quarter hours later than I would normally be on a normal day. But then I start later too, so. <coughs> So it's all right, you know. But it's the sort of duty that you, you finish and you think, oh God, finished. And it's like, you know, 
you're finishing when all the models are going home. It's Saturday and it's shopping day and it's, well, it's supposed to, it was freezing this morning. It was supposed to rain today. So it's miserable enough to rain, but it was freezing this morning. So I put my old jumper on. And um, I've been too hot ever since. <laughs> Sounds low. <clears throat> I hate carrying bags. I don't know why. I just do. I've got several, and I've stopped. I've stopped bringing in lunch. I've stopped bringing in drinks. I've stopped bringing in all the bits and bits and pieces that I did that video on all that time ago. I'll put that in the description if you if you've not seen it. Um, so basically, I picked up the duty card, and I picked up my log card, um, and that's me stuff them in my pocket, and I go to work. So that's how lazy I've become. I don't make my own lunch. I'm gonna let Ness at uh, was it, I don't know if her name's Vanessa or Nessa at uh, at Bromley North. Lovely young lady. Um, I let her make my lunch and my, well, my breakfast or whatever. <coughs> Cost of a fortune in the Bromley, as you can see. Getting fat again. Getting fat again. I have to start moving around a bit more. I keep saying this, don't I? There's a, there's a pattern appearing every now and again. I think <laughs> better start. <coughs> better start doing a bit of uh, exercise and look, watching what I eat. Because if you don't watch what you eat, it comes down the front of your shirt, doesn't it? Anyway, so Bromley North is where I'm going to end up in about. What time is it? I should only just be getting here now. I leave in 11.21, it's 11.08. So I'll get back there, 11.57. And we will be on time, because the headway sort of goes out the window, um, just because you need to get back on to, or the right time for the driver that takes over to start his duty on time. And that's about it, really. <clears throat> got cough. <clears throat> oh no, got COVID. Oh no. I'm getting right fluffy. I've got a video of blue. For all you blue lovers. Um, he's found the sink. And uh, he's found the kitchen sides, which he's, he's getting told off for. Um, we had sausages and mash yesterday, so we had a few sausages left over. We had, well, by the time I'd finished in the little end, finished, like the little end likes a sausage. By the time the little end left, and I, I, had, a, I had one, and she had one, and, and well, she probably had two. Um, there was one left in the, in the side, in the bowl, in the in the tray. So who had that one? Blue. He was up, he was feet in the tray. You know, when they all, con sausage and juice is all congealed in the bottom of the tray, his feet in it. <laughs> His face is covered in it. Little fucker. He is, without doubt, the dumbest cat. Stupid, the clumsiest cat. I mean, he'll trip over his own tail. He's he's the clumsiest cat you'd ever want to meet. And in other ways, he's the sweetest thing. You know, I'm not a cat man. Never have been really. We've always had cats, but we were, but I've never really, never really enjoyed having them. But he's he's he's. You don't need the telly on when he's around, he's just entertaining. But he's found the sink. And if you turn the tap on, he's he's fascinated by, not so much the stream of water, even though he taps it with his paw. And he has a, I don't know if he has a lick, because we, the missus had a cat before, Arthur. He used to drink from the tap. You turn it on, he used to have a little lick. But he's more fascinated about where the water's going. He spends, if you leave it on slow, He'd just spend hours. Well, if you let him, if you let it run for hours, he'd spend hours just looking in the plug hole. <laughs> That's the sort. That is the mental case. That is my cat Blue. Well, he's not mine. He's my daughter's. But she, um, I'm granddad. She's mummy because she's eight. She has to be mummy. And and we, me and the missus are both nanny and granddad, or grandma and granddad. So there you go. 
It's funny. He is funny. He is a funny little thing. And he's only... I don't even know how old he When did we get him? April? March? I think he was born in March. So he's only been around for five, six months. <coughs> oh, yeah. March, April. March, April, May, June, July, August. Yeah, about six months. And um, I can't remember a time that we didn't have him, really. It's just, he's quite... Yeah. Oh, he's got this habit now of standing in his own shit. He gets in the... I don't... <laughs> I haven't had to deal with it yet. Oh, I'll, tell you, I'll flail him. I will. Because he, 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 he waits till he wake up. And then he runs downstairs and has a whip. And he sits in his little tray, has a whip. Then he gets out, gets back in and has a poo. We, <laughs> what he's been doing is stepping back into it and just like walking off. And he, this like, we've got, um, what do you call it? Laminate flooring down. It's old laminate floor from when we from when we moved in. We just haven't replaced it, and um, it's just like a little little foot, little footprints of shit as he's walking up. So you're gonna catch him before he gets to the stairs because it's carpet. Oh, and, you know, you, see, you drop you drop his his food in the food tray, and then you realise why he's got his shit stinks so much. It's absolutely rank. You know, I mean, remember when I'm I'm, I'm an old boy now, so I'm fifty. 52 coming up next week next month um, but dogs used to be fed with bones and meat and the, you know that, that sort of stuff and they when they had a, if they left, had a crap and they left it out in the sunlight it used to dry up and blow away but there's stuff that they eat now it just stays as it, it, it looks like how it went in as it when it comes out it's disgusting so Maybe we need to go back to a more fresher diet. I don't know. That was dogs. I know I've never been, never, never really been much up on cats. So I think we've got to that stage now where Blue, he's had all his injections. Um, he can start going out, cropping in other people's gardens instead of cropping in mine. Because um, the two cats up the road and the one that's down the road, they both crap in my garden. The two cats up the road crap in my garden. The one that's down the road crap, I've got gravel on the drive and it's like a giant litter box. <laughs> so they just see, just, you just see them you know, curling one out. No, there you go. There's a tangent where my, where my life turns to shit. <laughs> everyone's, everyone's conversations always turns to toilets. It's really busy here today, haven't it? You know, I said the other day it was busy, but today I got here, there must have been eight, nine buses. There's only one, one, two, three, four, five. One's just going to have six. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Busy, 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 busy. I could do with a lie in. I don't know. I had a lie in this morning. Got up at half past five. Didn't start work till half past eight. <coughs> So that's that's what working days early is to you. So it doesn't matter what time, for the next three days I'll be getting up at half past four, half past five, and I'll finally get to wake up at a normal time and I'll be getting, I'll be working nights, working late. So that's, it's not too bad, it sort of fil filters into it. But some days, you, you know, you come off early, straight into your long weekend. You have a long weekend, you're getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning. Or your, your body clock's thing, so it's time to get up. And I've got this thing where if I wake up and then I go back to sleep, I wake up again with a really bad... It's like someone stuck a like, you know, old Trotsky thing, with someone stick a nice pick through my head. Yeah, I get such bad headaches. So if I wake up, I just get up, because I don't, I, I don't do headaches very well. Rained. Ha ah, So I was right. A bit late. What time is it? Mm. Quarter past eleven. Quarter past eleven. Turn around. Chat to you. Twenty-one minutes past. My mate is right. My mate Eddie's cab driver. You see what time yeah, I got up, 21 minutes past. Oh, why can't it just be 20 past? <laughs> what? I don't know. Why can't, why? Come on, 
come on, someone tell me, why can't it just be 20 past? Why can't they just round it down or round it up? God forbid you'd be giving this more time, eh? I don't think they'd ever round it up. I think they'd always round it down. He's about to go. Come on, you all. Cop Manning, where's that? Chelsfield, Bromley, Bromley Town Centre, Bromley North, Bromley Common Crown, Biggin Hill, Biggin Hill Airport, Biggin Hill, Beckham Junction, 162. Cop Manning, there you are. Where's that? Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Right, I'm going to go. I've got a couple of minutes. Get my beast started. And then I've got 35, 36 minutes. No, I haven't. I've got 35 minutes to get the bomb off. And we're always early. So we'll take a slow wander around and see what we can find. Speak well, it started to rain. <laughs> Not bad, but it, it, the forecast was right. 12 till 7, 5, 7, something like that. Ooh, itch. <laughs> oh, I, 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 itchy nose. There you go. Yeah. So. I'm on the final half of my final half. No, I'm not. I'm on my... The final half, and I'm about a quarter of the way through. So I've got to go to Elton, back to Addington. Tram, for all you spotters. Tram number 2544. Uh, yeah, back to Addington. And then back to Bromley North, and I can have a day off. So, what are we going to do on a day off? We're going to go to Leeds Castle. Castle? Castle. Are we going to Leeds Castle? Is it Leeds we're going to? What did I say the other day? We were going to go to Hever Castle. Keep saying castle. Oh, beep, beep, beep. It's going to turn itself off. I was going to go. We were, but Hever Castle is a big house, not a castle. Well, Leeds Castle is a castle. Got it so far? Yeah. Yeah. So we're going there tomorrow, whether it rains or not. I've spent. I think it was 70 odd quid. Me here in the Little Inn. Little Inn's more, more cheap. It's cheaper, but only by about a fiver. I think we paid 19 quid for her. But these tickets are yearly, so you can go anytime you like. So, we'll see. They do falconry and that sort of stuff, so it's, it's, all, it's all very interesting. I like all that sort of stuff. I like it. Oh, see, I need, I need a day off. Yeah, I like a castle. Oh, oh dear. I went to Arundel Castle when I was off. And that's smart. Go, go to Arundel Castle and go and do the moat tour. A fellow called Paul, all dressed up in the gear. And he'll tell you all the reasons why Arundel Castle can't be taken by firepower. You could you could siege them out, you could starve them out eventually if you've got the money and the and the manpower. But you couldn't as an ex squaddy looking at it and you think, oh especially when you've only got arrows and swords to go up, you know, you've got nothing you know, to go boom and kabang. Um and we'll put a ladder a ladder against this wall and you get there and it, it's because it's an optical illusion it's it's about 20 feet higher than it actually that actually <laughs> for what them you made a ladder that's 16 feet long it's actually 36 feet high yeah or whatever but yeah it's very 
very good very good and the grounds if you're into flowers and, 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 and ornamental gardens go and have a look at the gardens the gardens are fantastic the gardens are fantastic bigger than that I reckon yes oh, I decided I have I've made a decision to keep my allotment so I'm going to do I'm gonna do. This, I'm gonna do. This, I might do some videos on it, but I've got. I've got a YouTube channel for my allotment, which is it died a death a year, years ago. And as I keep saying, I've done. I've actually done nothing in it. I've, I've had it two years and, and not planted anything in the ground. Um, so this is the last year. It's either make or break. Either I do, either I do it or it dies. I don't want to because I actually quite like the idea in my dotage of having a little garden, a little shed. Because I can't have our shed because she thinks it's a party house and there's a bar in it. So we've got a bar and a fridge, you know, and all that shit. You know, so, you know, my, my uh, other half thinks she's 21. Um... Yeah, so we got a party house. That's what we used to do. When, in times of norm, and the bus turns itself off, um, it's isolated itself. There you go. Um, what was the same? Oh yeah, in times of norm, we used to have good old parties in the in the summer, summertime parties, three or four over the course of the course of the summer. Some of them lasted quite a long time, but so my garden shed, or which she's which she's painted, she's painted. There's a bar in it, the, the, you know, all that. So I haven't got a garden shed. So I want a, I want a garden shed for when I'm old and bold, so I can sit there with me pipe. Not that I smoke, but I can sit there with me pipe and go, hey, youngsters today I don't know they were born. <laughs> And you don't. That's the thing. I was talking to a bus driver the other day. He's he's a, a bus driver in um, Cheshire Way. Oh, come to me. Anyway, he's Sandbatch. Is it Sandbatch? And he said, "I can't get London at all." He said, "You're so weak." You know, is he, if you, if you don't pay where he is, you don't travel. It's as simple as that. And there's, there's a lot of peer pressure around that as well. So people will say, if you're not paying, get off a bus. Not just the driver. But here, you know, it's almost a badge of honour. Unbelievable. Everyone just on this, this journey here, woman gets on, taps, and the kid gets on behind her, walks straight to the back. And I was, I mean, I brought me south, and I was only going to pay. So the woman comes down, I said, no, not you, her. She went, oh, and the, and, the, and the kid just points her out. But the woman goes to tap with the same card. I said, it doesn't work twice. So the, the Oyster card is never wrong, okay? The Oyster reader is never wrong. But it'll only allow to tap the same, the same card once. So you can so get, your, get your debit card out and tap it. You can't use that card again for another hour. Yeah, because that's when... The, the hopper thing runs out. It's 62 minutes it is now, not 68. Um, so that's, that's, so she can't, oh, can I transfer money onto her phone so she can put, oh yeah, any way you like. You know, not happy, not happy at all. I said, oh, sorry, for, for, to pay your way, you're not happy. Yeah. The things I'd like to say to these people is, think, oh my God, I mean, I, I grew up from an early, 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 early age. I mean, if, from the age, Anywhere else in the country, it gets my goat. Anywhere else in the country, if you're four and younger, you don't pay, all right? If you're 65 and older, you don't pay. But anything in between pays. You know, you're five-year-old, you pay your money. And that's, just, you know, your mum pays your money. I remember pick, coming, up from my, coming from my nan's, getting on the bus, and it, my mum paid sixpence and I paid threepence. Three pence to the old folk. For the young folk. Three P. Going back a bit, bag, I can buy a bag of crisps for tuppence, two pence, back when I was a kid. 
yeah box of matches box of matches not that we do matches anymore or four pence and stuff like that i can remember bottles of milk you know pint pint of milk was like ten, a ten pence and a loaf of bread was 30 pence you know and now now we've allowed it all to blow up and these companies made money on it you know go ahead which was the big company in the northeast at the time i suppose it still is you know go ahead well, i think we're the only company in the northeast at the time they must have made a fortune because they had they had a they had carte blanche you know and all those <coughs> it was like 12p they made out me my sister and my mum <laughs> you know you can imagine tra traveling halfway across london for thro for, for, for thruppence right how long have i got i think i've got to go in a minute one minute let's go that'll do i'll speak to you later Right, I'm not going to do any more actually because I'm going to go. Uh, I'm probably going to go to Elton and come back and just get gone. So, have a great weekend. Um, I'll see you next week. Hopefully, I'm a lot, a lot less grumpy. And the password for today is Parkway. Wait. Normally they're with wet feet. 